y'all and welcome to today's video. I hope that y'all are having a wonderful new year. I hope you had a great time that you got to celebrate if you wanted to. If you didn't want to celebrate, I hope you were able to skip out, rest, relax. I want to get ready today. <laughs> I have some new makeup that I've been testing, some things that are super new, some things that are not super new. Like I have the new Makeup by Mario foundation. I want to test this out with y'all. I've worn this a couple of times now and I want to try some different things with this. I have the new Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer, the reformulated version. We'll play with the Odin's Eye Singles. Just some new and some not new things. We're just going to get ready together, test some makeup out, just be very chill. I'm filming this earlier in the day. So I'm going to be wearing this makeup the rest of the day. We're just, we're just going to get ready together, you know? And if you're new here, I want to say, Hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy here at my channel. We don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. I do upload lots of new videos every single week. So I hope that you will subscribe before you leave today, but I need to put some makeup on. Let me zoom y'all in and let's get started. <music> Okay, so the first times I used the Makeup by Mario foundation, I used it with a gripping primer. I do have oily skin. I live somewhere where it's very humid. Today, it's 97% humidity. So um, I always like to let you know, like my skin type, the climate, I'm 35. When I review foundations or complexion products or something like that. I always think that's good to know. And so I was thinking that since the Mario was like a long wear, but radiant foundation, gripping primer may be the best, but I thought it was okay with the gripping primer. It did wear fine. I didn't see any of the shimmer particles in the foundation and nothing like that. But I do feel like that a like blurring primer would be a bit better because I did think that it settled just a little bit into some fine lines I have here. It settled a little bit weird like into my pores. So today I'm going to try it with the Tatcha Silk Canvas and see if I like that better. And I mean, it's so weird to look at this bottle. Like you see, I'm guessing that's mica in there. I didn't read the ingredient list, but on the face, I didn't see any of that. It just looked really pretty and really glowy. So I'm going to let that Tatcha sit for just a minute and then we will apply the foundation. Uh, I bought the shade 14 O, which was described as olive leaning warm, which is perfect for me. Okay. So I'm just going to start by tapping this foundation in with my sponge. I have not tried this foundation with a brush yet, but I don't know that I will because it is on the thinner side and I'm, I just kind of feel like maybe it would leave brush marks because even blending with the sponge, I kind of have to like go over it a few times to make sure I don't have imprints from the sponge. I don't know if that makes sense, but I, I love applying my foundation with the sponge anyways. And it seems like that's just going to be my preferred method, but definitely let me know in the comments. Have you tried it with a brush? And if so, what do you think of it? Okay. So here is the foundation on half of my face. I kind of brought it a little bit over here, but you can see like no foundation in through here. And here is it over here. So it's definitely like a medium coverage for sure. I like if I could pick my perfect foundation, if you're like, you can only have one type of foundation for the rest of your life. I like medium buildable foundations. And I would probably go with a natural finish, not super matte, not super radiant, but natural and then probably leaning more matte. But I do like to mix it up. I like to have radiant foundations from time to time. So yeah, I was just curious about this. I know I talked about this in my judging new makeup video on Sunday, but 
The fact that this was Makeup by Mario coming out with the foundation saying it was going to be long wear, that to me was so intriguing because he is working on celebrities. He's insanely talented. And I'm like, if, if Mario says something's long wear, I feel like he has to know what he's talking about because those celebrities are wearing that makeup, you know, getting ready for the red carpet, on the way to the red carpet, getting their photograph taken, sitting through award shows or premieres or whatever it is, then leaving, then going to after parties and constantly getting their photos taken. So I'm like, listen, he's got to know what he's talking about when it comes to long wear. But you can see it's definitely glowy. But I don't feel like it's glowy in a bad way. I think it looks glowy, a little more glowy than what's like normal that I reach for. But so far, I, th I think it's really pretty. I definitely don't see any shimmer particles. And I did see somebody ask if I felt like I could see the shimmer like outdoors. And no, I've been outdoors and it's not like it just changes. What you're seeing on this video is how it looks in person. I definitely like the way it looks better with this Tatcha Silk Canvas than I do with the gripping primer. I definitely feel like it's not settling like it did the first times I used it. I think this is looking really, really pretty. Definitely glowy definitely glowy but it's not settling weird so I'm super happy about that so yeah very happy so far now I want to use the Dior forever concealer I know a lot of people really liked this concealer it got reformulated I never tried the original one but I saw this on the Dior site and it says 24 hour wear hydration creamy concealer full coverage I'm like say no more let me try this so I have used this a couple of times too. And I will say the first time I used it, I definitely put on too much concealer. I went in with like my normal amount and it did feel a little heavy. Again though, I do have oily skin, but I still like a concealer that's not gonna be completely dry under my eyes because I do have fine lines under there. So the second time I wore this, I used a little less and it looked absolutely beautiful. I'm just like, okay, I just need to remember not to use as much product, which is good too, right? Because this is, I mean, Dior is a luxury beauty brand. So if I can use less product and get a beautiful effect, the product's gonna last longer for me. I'm happy about that. So I bought the shade 4WO and I'm just going to show you, I'm gonna put it right there under my eye. And I am going to let this concealer set for a few minutes. I personally like to do that. I think it gives the concealer time to warm up on my skin. And then when I blend it in, I feel like it just, it looks a little bit better. It's my, it's what I do with all of my concealers. I let them set for a couple minutes. So, you know, I put my concealer on like this. I open up Instagram, open up my email. <laughs> Just let it set for a couple of minutes and I just feel like that gives me the best results. I'm just going to put some concealer here too. Okay, let's blend this concealer in. It looks really pretty, I think. I think it looks super nice. I don't know, but I mean, I've only used this, what did I say? I think this is my third or fourth time using this, but I definitely think if you have dry skin, you might like this, but even with my oily skin, I kind of like it too. I think it's hydrating in a good way, not in a, I'm going to be thick and goopy and settle into your weird fine lines. <laughs> I think it's nice, but if you do have skin type like me, if we like a lot of the same products, just use a little bit less concealer than you're used to. And I think you'll really like it. I mean, I think that looks super duper nice. Now I'll also say, you know, I've worn these a couple of times. Uh, I want to say I've worn these about I think the longest is maybe 12 hours or so and they've stayed looking nice, but this is not a review yet. You know, this is just me telling you I've worn it a few times. I will definitely have a video coming 
in the future where I'm giving you my full review where I've really tested this with other things and I'm able to give you my full thoughts. I just need more time before I can do that. But I did want to test these out with y'all so that you could see me applying them and kind of hear what I'm thinking so far. Okay, now let's do a little bit of the cream bronzer. Uh, I used this in a video last week, maybe the week before. It's the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Warm Bronze Sculpt Tape. And it's going to look crazy going on if you didn't watch that first video. But it is very sheer very sheer. So you're going to see, I'm going to sheer this out. It's going to look great. Don't worry. This I've been loving. <laughs> I've been using this every single time I do my makeup. You know, I said it before people were saying it's like they're, they're copying Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury had two shades for years. Tarte came out. I think they have five shades, way better shade range. And this is so good. So I've really, really been enjoying this. And I'm also going to blend this in with my sponge and you'll see how it went on looking crazy, but it's going to blend out so beautifully. And I love this warm bronze tone. I think it's so gorgeous. I mean, I just think that looks so nice. <laughs> you see, it's a very sheer, you can layer it. Like if I wanted this to be more intense, I could definitely put on another layer but I love, love, love the way this looks. So I'm going to do the other side of my face. And then for powder, I want to switch up and I want to use a different powder with this foundation and concealer. My Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder, I've been using that for years. I've been buying it, using it up, buying it, using it up, buying it. And it's a more mattifying powder. So I want to use that with this Mario foundation, this hydrating concealer and see how that does if I still have some radiance without being this glowy, you know? So let me put on the rest of the cream bronzer and then we'll powder together. All right, here is how the skin is looking. I think it's looking really nice, but it is time to powder. I never skip powder. I have oily skin. I told 97% humidity today. <laughs> I'm never skipping powder. Are you kidding me? My face will eat this like a little snack. So I'm going to take my little powder puff with my Huda powder and I'm going to press. This is normally how I do my makeup. So I'm just pressing it, pressing it, pressing it in to set everything down. And then I will buff with a finishing powder in just a minute but I really like to make sure my face is set because I need my makeup to wear. I told y'all, I used to work 12 hour night shifts at the hospital. I need my foundation to stay on. I know some of y'all don't like to have your makeup on for very long and that's fine. But for me, I need the long wear. Okay, let me see if I can zoom y'all in a little bit more so that you can kind of just see the difference. Okay, so here we go. Of course, this is matte, so the light is shining on the glow. So of course, it's gonna look like I have some more texture, whereas this is gonna be more smooth because it's matte with the powder, right? And then the powder has kind of filled things in. But I definitely still feel like I have some glow Okay, let me set the other half of my face and then we'll buff in kind of a finishing powder. Okay, y'all, here is the foundation set down with that more mattifying powder. And I feel like I can see a bit of that mica. I'm guessing it's mica shimmer, not glitter shimmer in the foundation, but it doesn't look bad at all. It looks nice. It's definitely pretty, but it is, it is, it is more glowy than what I'm used to, but I think it looks nice. I'm going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blurring Powder Foundation with a big fluffy brush. I like to do this. I think it just kind of like sets the perimeter of the face a little bit more, buffs everything in, starts to make things look a little nice. This is a 
big blinged brush from their latest collection and I'm just going to kind of like you know lightly graze my skin I, I don't know after I kind of use that that puff to press the powder in I just like to kind of buff as well and make sure that everything is looking nice and smooth so here you have this side of the face buffed this side not not a huge difference but just a little a little subtle thing that I enjoy doing I am going to fill in my brows and then we'll play with some shadows I really want to play with the Odin's eye single shadows they launched the multi-chrome ones specifically I want to play with those okay brows are filled in what else <laughs> Let's do bronzer first before we move on to the eyes. I'm just going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Matte Bronzer with my little Refer 04 brush. And we're going to just do a little powder bronzer. Even though we use the Tarte Sculpt Tape, whatever they want to call it, whatever they want to call it, I always like to use both because, you know, I'm just not a minimalist. I love applying makeup. I love having fun with makeup. So I'm just going to go over with this bronzer. This bronzer is so good. I think this launched in 2021, yeah? I really want to revisit my 2021 favorites. I actually had that like on my list of videos to do for Vlogmas. And then I just ran out of time. Like, I've been uploading seven to eight videos a week. I think since October. <laughs> and I just kept, like, bumping that video down on my, like, to film list. So, let me know if you still want to see me do that for January. Just, like, looking back at my yearly favorites from 2021. And if you missed my favorites from 2022, I posted that... I think on the 26th of December, so not too long ago. Okay, let's go ahead and do lips because my chapstick is kind of gone. So I want to put a, gl a gloss on. I'm going to do uh, just ABH lip liner in malt. And then we'll do a gloss on top. So I'm going to fill in my lips with this lip liner too. Okay, so there is malt, and I want to use this Fenty Gloss Bomb, bon, bon, <laughs> I'm getting tongue-tied, Gloss Bomb Cream in the shade Mauve Wives. I like the Fenty Gloss Bombs. They're a thicker gloss. They're not one that I would describe as thin, but I think they're so beautiful. And they do feel nice on the lips. I would just say, you know, if you're not a gloss type of person... These may not be the ones I would recommend to you, but if you love a good gloss, you'll love these Fenty ones. Okay, I did a video swatching all of the Odin's Eye singles. If you missed that video, definitely go watch it. These are launching on January 5th at 8 a.m. EST, I believe. I will put it in the description box though. But I did like an overhead video really swatching everything, showing you in different lights, showing you up close so you could see the different shades, the textures, things like that. And I've had fun playing with these. I've used these on the eyes too. I love this like basket weave pattern. I think it's so cool. And these are all the multi chromes. So I want to do a look. I want to incorporate these. I'm thinking something kind of purple leaning for today. Like, I went with a mauve lip. I want to do purples. And I think I'll use mattes from the Unearthly Cosmetics Dead of Night palette. I really enjoy this one so much. It's so good. And I did also do a video somewhere around the middle of December ranking all of the eyeshadow palettes that I tried in the year. So check that out. This one did rank pretty high, though. So I'm going to put on an eyeshadow primer. I always do that. I just need to find one because like I need to clean. I need to clean y'all. I have not uh like I had my house clean before Christmas and after that not so much. Not so much. So I think 
I need to find my eye primer. I'm gonna prime my eyes. I'm going to, well, we're already zoomed in. I'm gonna prime my eyes and we're gonna, we're gonna play with eyeshadows. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this really cool tone purple right here called Misty. And then I will probably go in with Dimness. But those are the two colors that I know I'm gonna start with. So I'm just using Sigma brushes right now. I really need to wash my brushes. I'm looking, I have like a full cup right there. And normally I'm actually really, really good about washing my brushes, but I just, I haven't had time to, like, I just haven't been in my normal routine. So I need to wash my brushes, but I will link my favorite set with Sigma down below. It's just a bunch of like detailed eye brushes to create looks. So I will put that in the description box, but this purple is so pretty. I love how cool toned it is. And I'm just going to put this all in the crease, kind of up here. I know I talk about having deep set eyes when I'm doing eye looks and stuff, but they're not just deep set because deep set can mean a lot of things. You know, you could have deep set eyes that are very hooded. You can have deep set eyes and not have a lot of space. But with me, like I have a very prominent brow bone. This right here, like this is my bone right here. So especially in photos and things like that, there is always kind of this like shadow right here because I have this more, more prominent bone right there. So I'm just pulling the color up a bit, maybe up a bit higher than you would want to go or other people would want to go. But I like doing that to help kind of open up my eye. Okay, now that I have that purple everywhere, I'm going to go in with this deeper purple and pop it right here in the outer corner. Well, I'm not doing anything revolutionary here with my look. Nothing crazy. <laughs> I just want to have some fun with my makeup and I want to use these single shadows. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of pull in some of my favorite mattes and just, just kind of create a purple look. I'm not sure what all I'm going to be doing today. I know I need to do some laundry. I have to work uh, tomorrow at the hospital, so I need to do some laundry. I want to spend some time with my kid. Maybe we'll take the dog on a walk, something like that. I really want to film the New Year's resolution tag too that Mel Thompson created a few years ago, I think. I've seen, I, I want to say I did that tag last year, but I thought it would be fun to redo it. I've seen a lot of people redoing that tag. So maybe we could do that as a get ready with me as well, if you want to see that. Okay, so I want to go in with this multi-chrome right here. This one looks pretty. It's like a blue, pink, purple. Let me find my little magnetic tool. I'll link it down below. Let me tell you the name. This is Angela M004, so Multichrome 004, Angela. Okay, so I'm picking that up on my E54. I love a fluffy brush for shimmers, multichromes, all of that. It can be a little bit more messy, so I do spray my brush, but using a fluffier brush is really just going to let the shine, the shimmer come through, which of course is like why I put this brush in my favorite set. <laughs> but if you really want to see like the true shift of the shadow, I definitely recommend watching my Odin's Eye swatch video because this multi-chrome is really, really beautiful. And I'm going to take this up pretty hot. Like you can see my eyes open. It's all on the lid, but then it's also above the lid too. I want that sparkle everywhere. I don't care if my makeup looks messy. In fact, I prefer it. I think that is really fun. Just my personal vibe, you know, but you could definitely, like if you want to do a cut crease, if that's something you like to do, you could do that but I'm just kind of like tapping it on first, like pressing 
and then blending a bit to get the most sparkle out of the shadow. But I feel like straight on, I'm seeing like purple, pink, and then like depending on how I move, it turns a bit like gold green. It's just really, really beautiful. Again, you'll see the full shift in that video because I definitely was like changing up the lighting and stuff to show y'all. But multi-chromes are just so beautiful in person. So beautiful. So now that I have that shade on, I think what I'm going to do is take this purple in the outer corner, the deeper matte, and I'm going to pull that under the lower lash line. So let me do that real quick quick well here we'll, we'll just do it together yay I have this brush clean I was like huh is this do I not have this one either okay so I'm just gonna put this under the lower lash line I mean this is gonna be a simple look it's gonna be a very simple look but sometimes I like simple looks just a few shadows can do a lot Okay, so once I have that down, I want to do another one of these multi-chromes on the inner corner. I was kind of thinking this one, but now that I have this on and I see kind of how it's coming together, I want to do this one instead. This light, white, blue, green, mermaid type of shadow. So let me see what the name of this one is too. Ah! I got the magnet too close and pulled several shadows. And that is not what I was going for. I just wanted to get this one. So let's see. Okay. This one shade is Lola. So M001 Lola. Okay. So I'm going to take Lola on this pencil brush. You see that, right? Oh my gosh. That's so beautiful. So it, it, it's definitely giving some contrast to the inner corner. I wanted to add a pop there. And when I look at it straight on like this, facing the light, facing you, the camera, it looks so green, iridescent. But then when I like look down, I can see the blue shift. So super pretty. I am going to put on just some black eyeliner, some mascara, some lashes, and then I'll come back. We'll do blush and highlight together. Okay, I put on some black eyeliner. I put on some of my Pat McGrath dark star mascara oh, I'm loving this mascara loving this mascara so much and then I put on some lily lashes in the style Miami listen I'm gonna be glam today so we went in with a lash I love this eye look like those Odin's eye singles are so fun I, I, I just feel like I feel like myself with sparkle on. <laughs> Does that make sense? I just feel like my true self when I have some sparkle on my face. So I'm loving this eye look and I want to do blush. I was thinking maybe like a purpley toned blush because we have like this mauvey lip. We have this purpley eye look. But the more I think about it, I think we'll just go for pink. So I'm going to use this strawberry shortcake blush from Glam Light. I, I just, I'm really enjoying this. I'm going to put this on again with my blinged brush and I'm going to, I'll, I'll link everything in the description box y'all. But let me know, maybe you are shopping your stash. Maybe we're getting ready together. Maybe you're just hanging out. I just appreciate y'all being here so, so much. I love talking to y'all in the comments. So let me know what makeup you're wearing today. Let me know if you're not doing makeup today. Oh yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad I went with this color with this purple eye look because that's looking nice. I did spray myself, my face with setting spray as well. I, did that while I was waiting on like my lash glue. I just used the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist and I'm really liking this. I I normally like spray and then spray my face and I didn't do that this time and I did get like one drop hit over here and it lifted the product a bit because it was kind of a huge drop of spray but my blush is going over that so it's not it's a non-issue, but rookie mistake, not spraying my setting spray first to make sure the nozzle was gonna do me right. 
Okay, last step, we're going to do Rare Beauty Highlighter. This is Enlighten Highlighter. Is that the shade? Enlighten. Okay. I, I think these from Rare Beauty are so beautiful. So beautiful. So I'm just going to highlight the cheekbones. Yeah, I'm really liking this. Like, this is such a good launch from Rare Beauty. Just bring it down the nose a little bit. All right, y'all, here is the finished look. I hope you're having a great day, a good start to the new year. Please do let me know what you have going on. Do you have any of these makeup products? Are you testing them? Are you trying them? Are you shopping your stash? I had a lot of fun kind of combining the new with the old today. And I have to say this is the best the Makeup by Mario Foundation has looked. Like I am a little shocked at how much I'm liking it today. Because when I first, the first time I tried it, I was like, I mean, I think it's nice, but it's not gonna be like a favorite, I don't think. But today I'm really, really liking this. So I can definitely update y'all in the description box on how this wears throughout the day. And yeah, the concealer's looking good. I'm feeling my makeup. I hope you're having a great day. I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.